Yo, what's going on? It's Avery, and welcome back to another story time video. So I just got home. I've been out at the movies all day, and these cucks had me waiting outside in 80 degree weather with heavy sweatpants while I was skating because they were at home playing Smash. I skated like 30, 40 minutes to the movie theater, and I'm there, and I call them. They don't answer. So I go to a restaurant because I can't bring my skateboard into the theater, put my skateboard in the restaurant because the lady was nice, and go out to another restaurant like two blocks away, call them, find out they're at home playing Smash. So my phone doesn't have Wi-Fi right now, it's not connected. So I skate like another 15, 20 minutes, find some random place that has public Wi-Fi, call them, and now I have to wait for an hour for them to get there because I'm sitting there playing Clash Royale in the blazing sun for a full hour. And when they get there, it's already super late. And we were planning on watching Black Widow. If we couldn't make it for Black Widow, we were going to watch Snake Eyes. We ended up having to watch the dog shit doodle butt ass movie called Space Jam 2. I'm not even joking, there was a big Chungus reference in the middle, like at the beginning part. I left the theater, like I, I, I went for a walk. I saw Big Chungus and out of reflex and disgust, I got up and left. But because of the dumbass jokes we were cracking, I guess it was a decent experience. But the movie itself was pretty damn ass. I don't recommend it unless you have like kids. But I don't think any parents are watching my videos. But the reason I bring this up is because I wasn't going to record today and for the past couple days I've still been feeling sick. I'm fine now. Hopefully, but I mean, I don't know some days. I just feel off. That's why I haven't been recording much my apologies But it reminded me of a story from a couple years ago of my family going to the theater So before we get started be sure to leave me a like comment a sub is always appreciated and turn on the bells Because you want to upload next link in the description for the discord join up send a story in the story chat I'll tell them one day or start up a conversation in general, you know what to do But this story takes place in I think my middle school or elementary school years I was either I was from fifth to seventh grade and I can't specifically remember I can only remember what I looked like, but I mean, up until like ninth grade, I looked the same my entire life. But what I do remember is that it was the winter, so I had a puffy ass jacket. I was a really small kid, like really skinny. You guys know this. I was a really skinny kid, but I would always wear baggy clothes to make me look bigger. I've always liked really baggy clothes. I never really wore them that often, but I've always liked them. So whenever I got the chance, I would wear them. So I would always wear the same big ass jacket because it was really comfortable. Um, it was a it was just a big puffy jacket or as we call it the blue puffer I never really rock with the black puffer So it was it wasn't really my color, but the blue puffer was always my shit So keep it in mind that I'm a skinny ass kid who wears a big ass jacket constantly 24 7 So I'm out with my family and it's a lot of us and we go out to this restaurant We had plans today. We were gonna go to this restaurant Then we were gonna go to a movie right after and I think this was around the time that the Avengers came out So we go to this restaurant we eat the food and we're a lot of people so we get the food and finish eating, but there's still a lot left over. This was some expensive food too, so we, we didn't want to take it like and throw it out. And on top of that, movie theater food is expensive. Like it's $30 for a bag of popcorn and a large Pepsi. You want a large Swedish fish? Oh, too bad. Hand up your kidneys. God forbid you get the deal with the collector's cup, which is an extra $80 in your liver. Here, take this cup with a shitty JPEG of Game of Thrones on it for like your left lung only. So we was not rocking with that. We were not going to spend because I'm pretty sure we spent like $25 last time on nachos and a Sprite. So we were like, fuck it. Let's just take some of the food into the theater. But the thing is... We had a full course meal. <laughs> like, we got a lot of food, way too much. So, so we were like, you know what? Fuck it. We already got, like, a bunch of these leftovers. Might as well just get some more food since we're already taking this in there. Might as well just eat in the theater. This would be a decision we would later regret. So we take all the food and start driving towards the theater. And when we get there, we take it all out, which consisted of, like, two liter drinks, um, appetizers, main dish, silverware, snacks, actual food. Like shit you would eat at a party, like a, at home. Not at a fucking theater, but I guess we had other ideas. So it dawns upon our brilliant minds that we have to figure out a way to actually bring the food inside the movie theater without getting caught and kicked out. Cause this was a movie theater we went to consistently. Like I'm pretty sure every week or at least two times a month, two, three times a month we would go there. So we weren't trying to get banned cause that movie theater was lit as hell. They got arcade, they got some comfortable seats, not many people go there, and it's clean, good quality stuff too. So while we're figuring everything out, they all look at me and see that I have a big ass jacket on and go, yo, you think you could fit the food in there? Huh? How? How the fuck, bro? How? They were trying to fit a full course meal in the jacket of like a fucking 11 year old kid. And the worst part is, I, I fit it in my jacket somehow. <laughs> Like, I'm not even joking. We went in the movie theater. We got our tickets. And I was big as hell. Like, I was really puffy. Like, extraordinarily big. Because it didn't match my face. It had a really skinny face. So they were eyeing me up and down like, hmm, something's off with this kid. 
But I just acted like I was sleepy as hell and I just didn't want to be there and then they left me alone. So we walk up the stairs and they were like, yo, you guys know you can't bring food in there if you have it in your jacket, right? Huh? It's, a, it's not food. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. My sneakiness was on point. So we get in the movie theater with this full course meal in my jacket, sit down, start eating it, finish the movie. It goes as planned, you know. I had everything. I had silverware, I had plates, two liter spray, I had cups, the full course meal, snacks, and then we left. And on the way out, we all smelled like food, so they looked at me, gave me a death stare, and then just kept it moving. But the thing is, once we got to the door, they said, hey, and then we all took off. We all just pretended like we were in a rush, and then we got back to the car and left. And then that's it. Nothing really happened after that. I don't think they recognized us the next time we went over there. Or either that or they just didn't care or forgot. But we were fine the next time we went. So long story short, don't be like us. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes and actually pay for shit. Don't try and scam the movie theater. But that's the end of the story, guys. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. If you did, if you did, be sure to leave me a like, comment, and sub. It's always appreciated. Turn on notice bell so you can see when I upload next. And look at the description for the Discord. Join up, send a story in the story chat. I'll tell them one day. We'll start up a conversation in general. And uh, yeah. Have a blessed night, y'all. Yeah.